On the 18th of July 2022, polling for the presidential elections had taken place across the country, where the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, Chief Ministers, around 4,800 MPs and MLAs had cast their votes on Monday morning to elect the 15th President of the country. It may be mentioned that the counting of votes will take place on July 21st, while the oath of office will be administered to India's 15th president on the 25th of July 2022. In Meghalaya, voting had started in the morning, where all the MLAs had gathered at the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly premises to cast their votes for India's 15th president. Let's listen to the reaction of some of them as to their support to the candidature of the first tribal presidential candidate, Draupadi Murmu. Meeting, first of all, let me put in place and record that uh, we are grateful that the tribal candidate has been nominated to the highest post of the land. And uh, all the elect, I mean, the, the persons who are eligible to vote will of course make the conscious decision to vote for whichever candidate they wish, depending on their preferences. So I guess, I guess that will prevail. Depend on our conscious. So it's a pleasure and privilege that being a first time MLA, that uh, I have the privilege to vote today as per my conscious uh, to elect the next president of our country. I'm very happy and pleased to have this honor. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> being one of the elector uh, to uh, the election uh, to the post of uh, president is something uh, very exciting. Uh, this is the first time in my life that uh, I have got this opportunity to uh, cast a vote uh, to elect someone uh, to sit in the topmost chair of the country uh, to be the president of this vast country, the biggest democratic country in the world. So it was exciting and I have already casted my vote. I have my choice. So I've gone with my conscience. I've voted for a woman because I feel that uh, here is an opportunity once again for the entire country to have this opportunity to be seen ahead of the nation being an opportunity. So I'm good with that. Ma'am, uh, what is the significance of a uh, tribal woman uh, being president of this um, See, this is again something that we had thought would happen when late Pramo Sambhaji was the candidate. But at that point of time, obviously, he was not the ruling dispensation uh, candidate. So it is about politics. You know, even if people loved late P.A. Sambhaji, uh, their uh, political positions in the democracy already dictated that he would not likely make the numbers, though he was hoping that he could have, um, you know, enthused a lot of uh, legislators and MPs across the country to cross vote. But this one time, you have a tribal being the candidate of the ruling dispensation, so her win would mean a big thing for all tribals across this nation. She is one of the tribal actually, amongst the, you know, like, uh, especially in India, we've got lots of diversity of, uh, you know, uh, races, whereas Mumu is one of the, the candidate, uh, especially first time, I think, so, being the tribal. P.S. Mumu was the first and then second one. And the another one is uh, Yasun Sin. So that way, I think uh, both are good candidates. So NCP has already uh, decided to vote for Yashwan Sena, so good. did you align with the party's decision? This is a sacred ballot. I know, believe, all of you guys, what is the meaning of sacred ballot?